Welcome to the first tutorial video. In it we will talk about the InOcean Developer Environment installation. We differentiate between two types of usage. One is for developers that configure already programmed modules, the other is for developers of new firmware. Both require Dolphin Studio and Dolphin View, so we will start with these. All in Ocean developer software can be found at our download page. Select Support, then click on Software. Before you can download any software, a free registration is required. I will demonstrate this with a tutorial user account. After sending the registration form, you should receive a confirmation mail. To activate your account, click on the link in it. Now you can log in. To log in, use the username and the password you specified during the registration. In the download area, you'll find more than just development tools. There are also hex files and source codes of selected products. Dolphin Studio provides an interface for configuring program modules and setting the Dolphin API parameters. Dolphin View is a great tool for visualizing radio communication. Download both now. After the download has finished, start with the installation. Before installing, please disconnect all in Ocean programmers and hardware working with FTDI drivers. Let's start with Dolphin Studio. Both programs have a common installation wizard, which you might be familiar with. There is a license agreement and a what's new text file about new features and bug fixes. Please keep uninstalled previous versions checked. The installer also sets the global path variable to Dolphin Studio and installs the latest FTDI drivers. And we are done. Let's proceed to Dolphin View. Please note that Dolphin View requires .NET Framework 3.5. The installation wizard will prompt you to download it if you don't have it already. Now we are done with the installations. If you are not planning on developing your own firmware, you can skip this part. Otherwise, continue. To implement firmware, first return to the download page and also download the Dolphin API. Now install the last tool. The installation is similar to previous wizards. Just make sure you uninstall previous versions. Since this is the latest version, you do not need to check for a newer one. Enabling the highlighting option will highlight Dolphin API functions in Kyle. The highlighting is supported by Kyle's ini file. This script will copy the inOcean ini file. Press Enter and you are done. To develop firmware for Dolphin modules, Kyle's C51 compiler is required. It comes with an integrated developer environment called Microvision. As this is a third-party tool, please download it directly from Kyle. You will require a license for the Kyle compiler. Please read our knowledge base article for the licensing options and pick the most suitable option for you. If this is your first time working with an Ocean Tools, you should browse through the manuals of the products. If you are planning on developing firmware, we strongly recommend that you read the introduction part of the Dolphin API manual. It is also recommended that you go to our knowledge base. Here you can find system specification documents, FAQs on products, and links to other developer documents. You can also search articles for developers. 
If you can't find what you're looking for, submit a new request. After installing either Dolphin View or Dolphin Studio, your system should have the drivers for the InOcean programmer. Plug the programmer into a free USB port and you should see a similar message. It always depends on the addition of your operating system. It is important that you see a message confirming your programmer is being recognized and ready to be used. Otherwise, please reinstall the FTDI drivers. You can find help in the knowledge base. This concludes the first tutorial.